It was the question that dominated most of the tournament build-up. Where would Roger Federer land in the Australian Open draw? The answer was in a quarter containing three top ten players, including the world number one. With the injury having ruled Federer out of the second half of 2016, the 17-time major champion must have breathed a sigh of relief when he saw that he had drawn a qualifier in the first round. That sigh would have been stifled when he found out that that qualifier was former world number eight Jürgen Meltzer. In one of the most anticipated matches of the tournament, Federer came through this opening encounter with a relatively comfortable 7-5, 3-6, 6-2, 6-2 win. And a warm welcome back with a victory for Roger Federer. It was a case of youth versus experience in round two as Federer took on talented American Noah Rubin. The Swiss star had the measure of the 20-year-old though and secured a spot in the third round with a 7-5, 6-3, 7-6 win. Oh man, the crowd loves this guy, don't they? Federer's third round match was the one the world was waiting for. In a replay of the 2016 quarterfinal, Federer faced Thomas Burdich, his first top 10 opponent since his return from injury. It was clear from the off that Federer was out to make a point. In a simply sensational display of attacking tennis, the Swiss superstar cruised past a bewildered Burdich in a comfortable 6-2, 6-4, 6-4 win. And it's not a time to get nostalgic either about Roger Federer. From one top 10 player to another, fifth seed Kei Nishikori was the next man to stand in Federer's way. In an epic battle that raged back and forth over five titanic sets, Federer got the better of the Japanese star to book a spot in the quarterfinals. And another evening to remember with Roger Federer at the Australian Open. His opponent in that quarterfinal had been busy making waves of his own. In the previous round, Misha Zverev had put on a serve and volley masterclass to upset world number one Andy Murray. But Federer had his measure and immediately went on the attack. Despite Zverev eventually settling into the match, the result was never in doubt as Federer cruised into the semi-finals. What a classy performance from Federer. Waiting for him in that semi-final was familiar foe and close friend Stan Wawrinka. The pair, playing each other for the 22nd time, had only met once before in an Australian Open, back in 2010 when Federer won in straight sets. It wouldn't be so easy in 2017. Federer started the stronger, racing away to a two-set lead. But Wawrinka hit back, sweeping the third and fourth sets. Somehow, Federer managed to arrest Wawrinka's momentum in the fifth and secured the crucial break that would earn him a place in his sixth Australian Open final. He's done it! Roger Federer is through to his sixth Australian Open final. It'll be Grand Slam final number 28 for the great man. Much like Federer, the form and fitness of Rafael Nadal dominated much of the pre-tournament conversation. The Spaniard, who struggled with injuries throughout 2016, landed himself in a relatively favourable quarter of the draw, although in the same half as defending champion Novak Djokovic. The 14-time major champion began his campaign against German Florian Meyer. In what proved to be a comfortable start, the Spaniard eased to a 6-3, 6-4, 6-4 win against the world number 49. It's the Spaniard who was too strong. Fan favourite Marcos Bagdadis was next in line for the number nine seed. The Cypriot, who was runner-up at Australian Open 2006, rarely troubled Nadal as he registered a routine 6-3, 6-1, 6-3. Superb finish and look at the reaction for a 3-1 and 3 win for Nadal. If the first two rounds had been relatively comfortable for Nadal, things were about to get much, much harder. German Alexander Zverev made waves on tour in 2016 and the number 24 seed began his 2017 season with a hard-fought win over Roger Federer at the Hotman Cup. In one of the most exciting matches of the tournament, Nadal and Zverev went toe-to-toe -to -toe for more than four engrossing hours on Rod Laver Arena. In the end, the Spaniard got the better of the German, winning 4-6, 6-3, 6-7, 6-3, 6-2. The look of delight of a champion. There was no respite for Nadal in the fourth round as he faced mercurial Frenchman Gael Monfils. 
Despite Monfils fighting back in the latter stages of the match, Nadal was able to secure a quarter-final berth with a 6-3, 6-3, 4-6, 6-4 win. Nadal continues his fabulous run here in Australia. Waiting for him in the quarter-final was the highest seed remaining in the tournament, Canadian Milos Raonic. Raonic, who had beaten Nadal two weeks earlier at the Brisbane International, was always on the back foot, Nadal attacking his serve early and often. The pair traded blows over three tight sets, with the Spaniard securing a 6-4, 7-6, 6-4 victory. Rafa needed to be at his best, and he was. Rafael Nadal was into his fifth Australian Open semi-final. On the other side of the net was a man in his first, in-form Bulgarian Grigor Dimitrov. After a strong start from Nadal, the 15th seed worked his way back into the match. The intense fuel lasted nearly five hours, Nadal eventually prevailing 6-3-5-7-7-6-6-7-6-4. It is a final that many dreamed about, but few dared to predict. Roger Federer and Rafael Nadal will meet for the 35th time in the final of Australian Open 2017.